All right, I think we're recording. So hi everyone, my name is Bridget Edwards and I'm here with Linda's team and we're gonna talk about Facebook parties. So I'm just gonna kind of go through like the who, what, when, why, how of Facebook parties. So kind of like a broad scope of how I do Facebook parties. Now there are tons of different ways for, for doing Facebook parties. And I think it's all about trial and error and seeing what works best for you. Um, so, you know, if you do a Facebook party and it doesn't turn out well, it's a dud, don't give up. Cause I have many duds of parties, many, many, many. So, and you know, and sometimes you're going to hit the jackpot. So it's just all about doing what works and then tweaking as you go. So everyone on here, I'm going to assume knows what a Facebook party is. So basically it's just a way to get a group of people together and introduce them to Sensi. So I, that's how I look at it. Um, sometimes you'll have Facebook parties with people who are very familiar with what who Sensi is and what we sell. Um, but nine times out of 10, you're going to get a lot of newbies. So that's the way that I structured my party. And also let me preface the way that I have transitioned to doing my parties is really based off of Patricia Morrow. She has a mock Cincy party Facebook group. And Ooh. so I took her kind of template and I ran with it, made a few tweaks here and there. I made um, a couple of tweaks now that we're starting a new catalog season. That's kind of when I tend to do a lot of my tweaks and looking at how I run my party um, is when we transition to a new catalog season. So, um, so yeah, that's really how I look at Facebook party. It's, it's really for those people who are brand new to Sensi. So you just kind of want to give them like an overview. I know all of us love Sensi and we can talk about Sensi till we're blue in the face, um, but we don't want to bombard people with, you know, all the ins and outs of Sensi. So you just kind of want to keep it broad, general and answer questions and be available to them. So why would you want to hold Facebook parties? Well, you know, going to sound like a broken record, but you know, coronavirus is here. You know, people don't really want to get together, even though I was just talking about people wanting to do a home party, but most of the people want to do Facebook parties. And honestly, for myself, that's how I really ran my business even before the pandemic hit is I ran yes. my, my business on Facebook. Oh, you're totally fine. Jump in whenever. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. No, you're totally <laughs> fine. Exciting. Stop you're apologizing, ma'am. What's that? I told uh, Meredith to just stop apologizing. It's her, yes. it's, yeah, that had of hers. <laughs> don't apologize. You are totally fine. And I love the interaction. <laughs> so it's, I don't want to hear myself talk the entire time. Hi, baby. Hi, hey, cutie. Hey. <laughs> we miss you. So that's why I hold Facebook parties. And I work full time outside of the home. I actually work from working from home most of the time now, but that's another reason why I do a lot of Facebook parties because I work, I have two kids um, who play very competitive soccer. We travel a lot, so busy schedule. Wow. So that's why I do whole Facebook parties, but it's also a really great, easy way to manage your business because most of us are on Facebook, we're online all the time. So it's just a really great way to get people together. Now, who are your hostesses? Who are you gonna find to host these parties if you guys are looking for people to host parties. People who love free stuff. People who are those bargain shoppers who go into a store and go straight to the discount rack. Because who does that? I do that. I do that all the time. I don't like to play full price for anything. So those are the people that you're gonna wanna have host parties. Those are those people who are on the fence about joining Sensi. You, that's a great way to do kind of like a decider party. You can have a party. And then you can give them, you know, the host exclusive kit, and then you can flip the party, get them off started on a, you know, a great way. Um, and then also those best customers, those who are, you know, buying all the time and be like, Hey, let me help you get some stuff for free and half off. Those are going to be your hostesses too. Okay. Now I'm going to jump to when we hold, hold Facebook parties, and then we'll talk, and then we'll kind of finish up with talking about how. So I usually, there's two different ways that you can, well, let me step back. There's probably more than two, but the two most popular ways to hold Facebook parties is doing a live 30 minute Facebook parties, um, which I started off doing that, but I've got like 
my son over here, I had to give him a little pep talk about you not yelling at Fortnite during my training call. Um, so live videos are not really <laughs> for me all the time. And plus, you know, at this time or even later, you know, I'm done. I work a full-time job. I don't want to have to do a 30 minute party after that, but some people love doing that, you know, and that's another way to do your Facebook parties. Um, another way and the way that I do that and the way I'm going to show you guys tonight, how I run my parties is I do like a three to four day party with pre-post um, going a couple of days beforehand and then really the party post going for four days afterwards because I think that gives people enough time I love to start things over the weekend um oh let me get someone joining I like to start things over the weekend and because I feel like people are on Facebook or on their phones a little bit more over the weekend and I want to cover try to cover at least one maybe two paydays so that's kind of why I kind of do kind of then extend it. And then I, you know, leave the party open depending on how the party's doing, what's going on with the hostess, you know, that sort of thing. So um, like when I set up my parties, I usually set them up on a Thursday and then I do the pre-party posts, you know, that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then Monday's kind of when we kick things off. So Monday through Thursday, I'm really going heavy and posting 78 posts a day, so to speak. I actually haven't, haven't counted, but on average about the, that number of posts per day. And then, you know, I coach the host for afterwards. Um, sorry, people I keep joining um, to do follow up over the weekend. So that's kind of how I run my party. So it's basically a full week, um, but really four days is really the core part of the party. So let's talk about how to run the party. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to unmute yourselves or pop in the chat. Um, just let me know if you guys have any questions anytime. So the number one thing, and I think it's kind of um, the key to the party. There's two things that I think really make a successful Facebook party, and it's not the party itself. And you guys are like, what? Like, not the party? <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm listening. You're brilliant. Um, so I think host coaching, that's like, and you guys probably heard this. That's like the number one thing that will make or break the party is having the buy-in of the hostess and coaching them throughout the party. Okay. Um, so what I do is I, when I first started, I used a script because I was scared. I was like, I don't want to miss anything. I don't know really what to say. So I used a script and I used a script for every single host. Well, not everyone's the same. Not every party is the same. So you kind of have to be in tune. So I actually had to cut back the number of parties I was doing per week. So I can really be focused and in tune with my host. There was one time where I had, I think five or six parties in one week. And I was like, I cannot do this. So I, keep, I cap it at two, maybe three, okay? So once I start the party, once I set up the Facebook park, and I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a second, I'll do a little screen share. Um, I give simple instructions to my host. I give her like one thing to do every single day. And that's another thing, keep in touch with your host every single day. And every conversation is gonna be different with each host. There's no set saying, you know, day two, this is what you're gonna talk about. Day four, this is what you're gonna talk about. You really gotta feel it. Okay, which I know is probably not helpful. Because <laughs> if you're like me, you're like, just tell me exactly what to do and what to say. But I'm finding myself that it works a little bit better if I actually take that extra five minutes to figure out well, what's going on with the party. Maybe she needs some help with some, you know, some encouragement, some tips, that sort of thing. So when I set up the party, I give her simple instructions to host. So I tell her how to invite. Okay, and actually I'm gonna start my screen sharing now so I can show you guys. Cause what I started doing is, um, is actually providing a graphic to my host for when she can invite people. So let's see if I can go, here we go. So before I was giving her wording I was just giving her wording and saying, you know, this is what you need to post on Facebook. This is what you need to post on individual messages, so on and so forth. But 
having them copy and paste all that information, I felt might be overwhelming to them. So I'm going to guide them, but I'm not going to tell them exactly what to say. So I'm going to suggest that they post on Facebook and I gave them a graphic, you know, I like, here's a graphic. I do take some time, created the template, and then each person and each host has their picture put on there. I use the Tune Me app on my phone to kind of make it a little bit fun, kind of kind of creates that graphic. And all this is made in Canva. So you guys can make this stuff in Canva. Um, so I give her this graphic for her to post on Facebook. I tell her this post on Facebook. However, the best way to get people into the party is to do a personal invitation. So whether you send out a text message, a Facebook message, an email, phone call, if people still call people on the phone, I don't know, but whatever works best for them, you know, that's, or however they communicate with their friends, that's how I want them to do it. Okay. And I, it, I discourage them to dump people into the Facebook. I do Facebook groups. I discourage them to dump them into the Facebook group because I find that I don't like to be dumped into a Facebook group party. If you do that, I'm going to immediately say decline invite. I'm not going to join it. I don't care if you're my best friend. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. So I want people to do that personal invitation. It's going to go so much further. Sure, you might only have 10, 15 people in the party, but those 10, 15 people want to be in there that's going to make a huge difference versus having 30 40 people in there who you know half of them don't even want to be in there so i tell her how to invite and then i'm telling her how to engage with her friends so the one thing that i think is real key and i think it's really helped is i tell them to thoughtfully tag their friends so i have a couple hostesses who will they'll go into a post and they'll tag everybody in the group. Susie, Jane, Marcy, Josie, Meredith, you know, they tag everyone and just leave it at that. They don't say anything. Well, I'll voice message my host and I'll say, I want you to thoughtfully tag someone in a group. And I give them an example. I'll say, your friend Susie might, you know, might love butterflies. So she might love the butterfly warmer that we have. So go and tag her on that picture and say, Hey, Susie, I know how much you love butterflies. I think you would love this. So I'm trying to encourage her and tell her how, you know, how to share, how to engage. Um, and then after the party's over, after those four days of post are over, I provide reminder wording. So I have her go back to everyone who has not ordered and throughout the party i'm posting in the party you know thank you for your order you know at the end of the party i do tell my host susie jane josie meredith linda they've all ordered for those who haven't ordered and who was in the party send them this and i give her something to copy and paste this is like the only thing that's kind of scripted copy and paste send it to the people that haven't ordered just as a reminder to either place an order or to reach out to me. So there's two different ways for them to order. Um, and like I said before, you know, connect with your host daily. So you can be providing some tips, like how to engage, reminders, so on and so forth, party sales updates. So it might be like day two or three of the party. You know, if, you know, a couple of people have ordered, you can know, say, hey, you know, your sales are 150, you're only $50 away from unlocking your host rewards. So I'll do that towards the end of the party. And then some encouragement. If I literally have nothing to say, <laughs> I'll say, keep up the great work on engaging with your friends. And that's literally all I will tell her. <laughs> but at least I'm talking to her every single day. So she, so that party is in the forefront of her mind every single day. So it doesn't have to be this like giant, big, you know, to do, just have a conversation with a friend and just encourage. All right. So let me show you guys. Oh, and the other thing what I do is when I set up a party and this is, I just set up this party today. So today's Thursday, I set up this party um, and I have two posts in there. So this is like the post that I have tagged as an announcement and it has the link for them to go shop. So I use Linktree and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So it's completely free, but it's an easy way for me, instead of having to go back and find all of my party links, they're all grouped here. So I tell them to click this link and find their friend's name and then they can shop from there. 
And then if they click on, you know, Jordan, it's going to take them directly to Jordan's party. Okay. So that's what I do. Um, who does this? Where are we? Not there. Here we go. Um, so I always have two posts that are in the party before I even invite my host. So I have that one and then I have this one. So I always have a selfie, you know, wearing a Scentsy shirt or holding a product or something. I kind of just change it up, um, but my wording stays the same. So this is like the first post that's in there. And then the announcement is in the next post. And then I invite my host. I love that so much. Yeah. And that then what I do the next or that night after. So tonight I posted that I'm going to be giving away a party pack. So I give, I cap it at 10. I really never have 10 people fill out a request form, but I cap it at 10. So I have that FOMO. So people are like, yeah, let me get on this immediately. So the first 10 people that fill out my request form are going to get a party pack. So this is what the re request form looks like. Sometime today. Everyone here is like on their electronics. So my internet is like at, running at max right now. Um, so when that decides to show us, here we go. Oh, I have it closed. So I go in there and I close it at the end of every party. Let me just, so that people aren't requesting after the party is over. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's just a Google form, absolutely free. Um, I have, you know, who's the host, their name, if their Facebook name is different. And I actually tweaked this. I just tweaked this last week for the new catalog season to add a few things. Um, their mailing address, zip code, email, cell phone number. Now, these people haven't even shopped yet and I have all their information. So it's a great way to add them to the newsletter, a way to follow up. You have all their information already. Now I have a couple of questions. I say, well, what type of smells do you usually love? And I'm gonna actually tailor my party packs going forward because I'm gonna start bulk sampling and give them a scent that they like. If they like fruity, then I might give them that tangerine creamsicle. You know, they love citrus, you know, I'm gonna give them sun-kissed citrus or whatever I have on hand. Um, if I don't have anything on hand that falls in, that's in the category, then they'll just get something else and they'll just be happy with it. You know, it, it, it's a free sample. Um, I asked them if they currently have Scentsy in their home. I want to know that. Um, what products have you not tried yet? So maybe I can throw in something that like, oh, I've always wanted to try, you know, the laundry line. I might throw in some washer whiffs in there. If they have any pets, I'm going to throw in a pet sample in there. Then on a scale of zero to 10, how interested are you in earning free and half off Scentsy? So I find that if you have a scale, people are more apt not to just say no or put zero. They might say two or three. And anyone that says one through 10 is going to go up on my follow-up list. Same thing for, you know, interested in starting their own Scentsy business. If they put a one, they're going on my follow-up list. Okay, so that's it. So party packs, you're probably like, well, what is a party pack? So this is what my party pack is. And I got this idea from Christina Steinbrook. So if you, you know, if you want some more ideas, Google her on YouTube. But um, I use an eight by 10 um, bag that I got from Amazon. And I just fill it with a whole bunch of stuff. So I did upgrade them this season just to give them a little bit more of an experience. So every party pack is gonna get a catalog. And the reason I'm doing this party pack is I want to kind of recreate that um, in-home party experience. Because like I said, in the beginning of this training, a lot of these people have never experienced Scentsy before. They're newbies. So you wanna give them that experience. You want them to be able to try it. So I, everyone gets a catalog to flip through. Yes, there's a digital catalog, but me, I like to get a, you know, a physical catalog so other people might like it too. So I have that. Um, probably for the next month or so, they're gonna get the scratch and stiff stickers in there. 
Um, this I printed directly from the catalog is the bundle and saves. And I wanna kind of recre actually recreate a new flyer that tells them where to find this because it never fails. People will have put six individual bars in their cart in order. And I'm like, they could have got one of those for free if they knew. So I wanna kind of be able to explain that a little bit better, but for now, this is what's going in there. I always have a host and join brochure in there. And then I do put the send of the month flyer and then a felt sample that goes in there. And then the rest are samples. So I had washer whiffs laying around. So I threw in some washer whiffs. Um, before I was only putting this and the send of the month in there. And that's totally fine. Um, as your business grows, you can add a little bit more. But it's totally fine just to give them a hand, body cream, hand cream, body wash, whatever. I had some extra samples of the new scents. So I threw one of those in there. And then not everyone's going to get a pet one. Only if they have a pet will they get a pet sample. Okay. So that all goes in there. I ship them from home. I don't even go to the post office. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I don't put no more than, you know, 10 per party. Um, Linda, let me know if there's any questions as we're going through. I'm not really looking at the chat. Um, so those party packs, I give them a deadline. So I tell my hosts that, you know, I'm capping it at 10. The deadline is Sunday because I want them to get in the mail Monday so they can get the party packs before the party closes. So that's kind of, that's kind of my timeline for that. Um, and then I'll just kind of scroll through a party that today was the last day of party post. Um, so things are kind of all out of order, um, but you guys can kind of get a feel. Let me go more towards the beginning of the party. So you guys can get a feel. And literally this is from Patricia Morrow. So I do a mix of photos um, with video. Okay, so I'm showing them how to shop in this one. And this is just a screen share from my phone. Um, just real life images. They were getting their party packs, so they were doing selfies. So I love that. I tell people to, you know, take a selfie once they get their party packs. I think that's really fun and engaging within the party. Um, she did a boomerang, super fun. And this one, she wants to do a home party. So we're going to be doing a home party with her soon. And let me see if I can find a video. So I do a lot, where's the video? I thought I saw one up here. So there's the laundry. And then I did a video of the laundry. Not the best quality video, but it's a video nonetheless. Um, body care, whiff boxes. Um, I play like two games. So wax, wax warmers, kind of similar to duck, duck, goose. Um, and this one, you know, ask me anything about a product, about a party, about the business, so on and so forth. Um, the pet line. And then I do have a booking incentive. Let me see, where is it? So there's this booking incentive. So if they comment with one of those numbers, they're all the same. So I'm going to tell them, you know, hey, host an online party you can get a free three pack of wax or you can do a six pack of wax or you can do um, the classic clean bundle or whatever works within your budget. And it really doesn't matter what number they choose. It's all three pack of wax. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So, you know, that's a good way to kind of increase your bookings um, in your party. And then I talk about, you know, I have pictures from the retreat. I threw those in there so they can kind of you know, see that I'm a real person. This is a real thing. It's not, you know, crazy like that. So it looks like we only have about like 10 minutes left before the Zoom kicks me off. But um, just want to wrap things up by saying, you know, you really want to connect with your guests too in the party. So don't post and ghost. <laughs> So when you're posting and people are commenting, you want to interact, you want to send friend requests, um, 
create suggestions. So if they say they love a specific scent, like I, in the beginning of the party, I will talk about each of the wax families that we have, the scent families. If someone says they love citrus, I might recommend a six pack of citrus scents that they like. Um, so just kind of be yourself and just, you know, have fun in there. And that's really all I got guys. I don't know if you guys have any questions or anything. I'm looking at the chat. I think you were amazing. Um, so oh no, my screen's frozen. The form, the Google form pack request is that. Oh no, you cut out. What did you ask about the Google form? No, I was asking, so that's a Google form that you have them fill out for the party pack, correct? Yep. Yep. So I have all their information. So do, you just post it? do you just post it in the party and say mm -hmm. like, I have 10 spots available? Oh, okay. That's awesome. I like yeah, that idea. So this day, like, so this today I created the party and then I told my host, I was like, I have a post scheduled for 8 p.m where they can request the party pack. So she came from another party. So she's pretty familiar with what the party packs are. Um, and I told her, you know, of the 20 to 30 people that you're inviting to the party, think of your top 10 people that you would think love Sensi or would be really excited about it and tag them in that post so they see it. Because I get, it never fails. I'll get to day two of the party and someone say, well, can you send me a catalog or, can you send me a party pack? And I'm like, you're not going to get it in time. <laughs> so it's really a case by case basis on that one. But, you know, sometimes I will. I'll be nice sometimes. Well, thank you so much for letting us join you this evening. I really appreciate it. Of course. Well, thank you so much for coming. And if you guys have, think of anything Thank else, you, you know, Brandon. you to find me. You're welcome. I hope it helps. And um, I took Linda. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love it, love it. I took notes. Oh, good. Well, yeah, yes. let me know if you, if I, that let me great. clarify anything. But, and you know, okay. if, if you do anything, I think that, the host coaching and the party packs are kind of like non-negotiables in, in my book. I know it's an investment of sending out party packs, but you could easily send out in like a number 10 envelope, um, fold up um, the product product list. Is that what it's called? I can't think of the name. The, yes. the paper one, the product the list. Or the, pro Not the, the product. Not the brochure. Yeah, the product list. Yeah, fold that up, maybe throw in um, the sin of the month with the felt sample because that's super thin. And, you know, yeah. maybe a host brochure and that will go out with a stamp. Yeah, because I've done, I've done party packs before, but I never thought to do the Google form how you do. And I feel like that's really smart because like you said, that's getting you all of their information. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really like that part. Yeah. And it's easier for me because I have only one place to go to get all of their information to mail these out versus having to chase people down. So, um, and I have- That's so true because I, I feel like I have customers on my cell phone, but then I have like people that, like you said, don't use Facebook. Then my, my only Facebookers, then the people you see like at church or at dance, you know, and it would be to have them all together and just that access. I've never even thought about it. I'm constantly just digging. So that's going to be a game changer for me. Yeah. And I love it because you Thank can you. also, you can create an Excel grid. It'll automatically put all their information in Excel grid. So you can search, you can do like the use the find function. So if you want to find a specific person, you know, control F, you know, put in Linda and all the Lindas that you have pop up and you can easily filter filter through that. 
So, and then if someone wants to book a party, instead of tracing them down to try to get all the information and they requested a party pack, um, you know, you already have all their information. So that's, that's that. But I won't keep anybody, you guys, late. I know you guys have little ones. And, um, but you guys know how to find me if you guys have any questions. So I really appreciate you guys being here. And I'm yeah. going to cut off the recording.